What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of the Mona Lisa. So I've had a lot of requests from many of you on how I would approach a portrait illustration of the Mona Lisa. Not gonna lie, this is gonna be one of the trickiest tutorials because the slightest change in proportions can affect the expressions. So we'll begin like any other tutorial. We're gonna start with some guidelines. Let's start in the center of a page with a straight line. Start from the very top. I'm just gonna bring that all the way down towards the bottom. Now along the top, we're gonna draw a straight line going across from left to right. Now I'm gonna use these two lines to help us create a circle along the top of our page. Now this is gonna help define the size of the head. So from the center, let's step up towards the top. Just gonna mark that off. Let's take that same distance from the center down towards the bottom and do the same thing. Let's repeat that across this horizontal line. So measuring that distance towards the center on the left and right side. Now we're gonna connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. So this will sort of be the top of the head going around and then just pull that back up. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect, we just wanna get the right size and placement along the top of our page. Now I wanna add another guideline coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left, coming all the way down, and do the same thing on the right. Now from here, what I'm gonna to start to do is block in the basic facial features and get the positioning and proportions. Now the head's turned slightly towards the left, so I'm gonna move that center line over towards the left side. So I'm just gonna move over to right about here, Mark that off. Let's go straight up towards the top of our circle and then bring that all the way down towards the bottom. Now with this being the center of the face, we're gonna draw the edge of the nose. So from here, step out, angle this down and then in towards that center line and then come straight down towards the bottom of our circle. Now this is gonna be the top edge of the brow. So on the left side, I'm just gonna angle this down slightly toward the left Go to the right side, angle this down towards the right, all the way out towards the side of our circle. Now the eyes are gonna sit just underneath the brow from these two points. So let's start with the left. I'm just gonna bend this up and come down towards the side. Now on the right side, I'm gonna step over, going up and then down. Let's block in the bottom of the eyelid, coming down on the left and then up on the inside and do the same thing on the right. Now we'll come back and readjust the positions later on. Now the Mona Lisa is staring over towards the right side. So we're gonna start in the center of the eyelid, draw a circle, coming around, just gonna lightly block this in. Just pull that up on the inside. Go to the center of the right eyelid, do the same thing. Come down and then up. Now I want to slope the nose slightly down towards the left side. So from these two points, I'm just going to angle this down toward the left, towards the bottom of our circle. And then along the bottom, I'm just going to lightly sketch out a circle for the tip of the nose. Let's flare out the nose on the left, going up and then out, and then on the right, going across. From the tip of the nose, we're going to step down, just mark off the edge of the mouth. We're going to go out toward the left with a straight line and then towards the right. Now from that center line, we're gonna step out. I'm just gonna mark off the corners of the mouth with a little short line. And we'll give our mouth a slight bend, coming down and then up. From the mouth, let's step down, just mark off the lower lip with a short line, and then move down and mark off the chin with a straight line, and we can readjust this later on. Now from here, I'm gonna concentrate on the left side of the head. We're gonna start from the corner of the eye, we're gonna step out, it's gonna bend this out and go straight up, just following the curve of the circle. Let's go back to the bottom, going out, just bumping out the cheek. Come down in an angle towards that mouth line, to right about here. Now it's gonna round out the jaw and pull that in towards the chin and then come down. Now from the lower lip, I'm just gonna sketch out a small oval. And this will help guide us with the shape of the chin, going all the way around. And then from the chin, I'm just gonna bend this out, go across and then up towards the right. Now from the corner of the eye on the right side, we're gonna step out towards the edge of the head, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. 
Now along the top, we're just gonna add the edge of the hairline. So we're gonna start up here on the left, going up in the middle, and we'll bend that back down towards the right. From that center line, I'm just gonna bend this up and across towards the top right. Let's go to that center line underneath the chin. I'm just gonna angle the neck, coming down and then across. Step up, slope the body, going out and then down. Now from here, we just wanna add the volume of the hair. Let's start on the left side of the head, starting up here. I'm just gonna bend this out, come down, and then in towards the bottom. Now from the right side, I'm just gonna bend this across go across the forehead and then down towards that inside line. Now from the outside, I'm just gonna bump this out come, and then come straight down. Let's continue this line on the right, bend this out and then in, and bump out the bottom on the outside. Okay, so now that we got a rough sketch, I'm gonna go back and erase these guidelines to get a better look at our drawing. This will help us get a better look at our proportions. Now that we cleaned up our drawing, we can get a better look at our proportions and balance. Now I wanna bring the chin down a little bit lower along the bottom. I'm just gonna curve this down and then bend that back up. Just rounding out the jawline. And I also wanna slope the nose a little bit further out towards the left. So I'm just gonna bring that line out. Just round out the bottom of the nose. And then from here, we're gonna to start to add a little bit more detail. Adding some more shape. Now I'm going to go in and just add the upper lip, being very subtle with the details. And lightly sketch out the lower lip. Go up and just add some more shape to the brow. Just gonna round this out, going around the eye. Now this will be more like a shadow line coming down. Round up the right brow, going up. Just coming down the side of the nose bridge. I'm gonna raise the lower eyelid up a little bit higher. And we'll add that fold. Slope the forehead along the outside, going up. I'm just gonna add a little bit more shape to the outside of the hair. Just adding some curls. And I'm just gonna add some texture along the inside, coming over the shoulder. Now we're going to go back and just clean up our drawing before we go into any further detail and shading. Now once we're happy with the shape of the facial features and the proportions of the head, we'll go back and just darken up our contours. Now I'd like to start with the eyes. I'm going to start with the one on the left. Just bring that in, then going across the top towards the outside. Now I want to pay attention to the slope of these angles. And the slightest difference can change the expression. Just gonna lightly trace out the pupil on the inside. 
Let's darken up the center of the pupil and then lightly shade in the outside of the iris. And go a little bit darker along the top and then blend that down. Add that little fold underneath the eye. working our way across the nose bridge and just fade that down. Now with this character, it's important to look at the distance between the bridge of the nose and the inside corner of the eye. I'm just going to fade that out along the inside, not adding too much detail along the bottom of the eye. And also the position of the iris and pupil is critical. Go in and trace out the pupil, darken that up, and then shade in the outside of the iris. Now once in a while, I like to step back and just take a look at our proportions, make sure that everything's correct before I commit to more lines. The shadow line going across. I'm just going to bring this down a little bit lower. Now I want to go back and lightly erase the top of the brow. Also the side of the nose. And go back and just trace out the bottom edge of the nose. Corner of the mouth is pretty critical here. I don't want to go too high. I'm just lightly tracing out the top lip. And then the bottom lip. And I'm going to go back and just trace out the outside perimeter of the head. Starting with the forehead. Working our way across the cheeks. The cheek has a slight bend that comes in, sort of aiming towards the corner of the mouth. Okay, now I just finished tracing out our contours. I'm gonna do one final check before we get into the shading. Now I'm pretty happy with how things turned out around the eyes and the proportion to the nose and mouth. So I'm gonna start with the shadows across the top of the eyes. Let's start on the left side. I'm gonna gradually fade that shadow out towards the left, to right about there, on top of the eye. And we'll darken up the shadow on the outside and work our way up. And again, just fading that out as we get up to the top of the eye. And add a subtle fold on the bottom of the eye. We just want to soften that up. You see that I'm using the side edge of my pencil to add our shading. I want to blend that down. I'm going to do the same thing on the right. So the darkest shadow is going to be along the inside of the eye. 
go up to the top and we'll just blend that out. Come down the side of the nose. And again, just fading that out across the bottom. I'm just going to feather the shadow on the right side of the nose coming down towards the nostril. And we'll add that shadow across the bottom of the nose. Now the nose is going to cast a shadow across the bottom. We'll just extend this down towards the mouth and then blend that out. I'm just going to lightly shade the lips along the side and go a little bit darker on the right and then fade that in. A little bit of texture across the bottom lip. And now we're going to add some shadows across the side of the head. I'm just going to darken that up and then gradually fade that in. Go across the forehead. Now these shadows are going to help define the shape of the head. So you see there's a little bump along the top. I'm just going to darken that up across the bottom and then blend that in. We're also going to add that shadow across the cheeks. So going a little bit darker and fade that out. It's going to cast a shadow across the top of the neck. I'm just going to darken this up. I want to bring a little bit of shadow across the middle. Just darken that up and then fade that out towards the side. Bring that shadow on the top right side of the forehead and then just fade that in. So we're sort of accentuating the brow area, just pulling that forward with the shadow. Now I'm just going to darken up the hair on the left side, going around the face. And from the neck, I'm just going to extend that shadow going out. Just add a medium shade to the rest of the hair and want to blend into that shadow. Now across the top of the head, we're just going to pull that shadow going in towards that part. I'm just fading that out. And then going from the part, going out. To 
the same thing on the right, starting from the part. I'm gonna leave a little gap in the center, go out and then down towards the right. Start with a medium shade across the entire hair on the right side. And I'll go back and just darken that up. Go back and just layer some texture on top. So adding some curls inside the shadows. And then I'm going to go back and use our shadows to help readjust the proportions and detail. Also adding a little bit more contrast. Now as you get closer to the end, I'm going to step back and take one final look at my proportions. And if I'm happy with the composition, I'll go back and add a little bit more detail and shading and always be sure to sign my artwork. And there we have it. There's our first attempt at drawing the Mona Lisa. Drawing specific characters can be very tricky because the slightest offset can completely change your portrait. Nevertheless, I still had a lot of fun with today's lesson. I hope you did too. I want to thank you for supporting our channel and I'll see you in the next one.